How do you see it's addictive to you? Um, it's addictive to me in the fact that I want to see what's going on in this little world of, of people, you know, these, these kind of the, the way people present themselves. I mean, you see, you see all your friends and you see people you know in real life and you see them on the surface. Um, I think part of the attraction of MySpace is the fact that you can, you can kind of get into people's heads a little bit more and see what they, that they really want and what they're really saying. Have you got MySpace? Yeah, I do. Indeed, I do, yes. <laughs> yes. Alright. Have you got MySpace? Yes. I have MySpace. I have MySpace too. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Yes. Well, I do. MySpace. I do. What? Hi. I do. Right. Yeah. Henry, do you have MySpace? Yes. Here's MySpace. Do you have MySpace? No. Oh, no. Are you wrong with me? Picture. Do you have a MySpace? Do I have a MySpace? No, <laughs> I don't. Right. No, I don't, actually. Is that what you need to know? That's good. That's good. That's good. So what is MySpace? Well, basically, it's a social website that allows people to interact with each other all over the world, allowing you to share pictures, videos, music, and just general chat. MySpace was first created in 2003 and was sold to Fox News Company for $580 million US. So you guys got MySpace? Yeah, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah nice. Awesome. You have MySpace, Dana? Yes. What do you use it for? If I'm bored, just to chat to people. Do you promote your beatbox? Actually, game? it would be a good idea to do that. Why? Why would it be a good idea? Because then everyone can hear my music, hear my style of beatbox. What if they think it's shit? No, they don't. Oh, okay. Because you've got friends. They're his friends. They want to think it's shit. Yeah, they'd be like, yeah, let's. So, how many of your friends have you met? In person? Like, have you actually met anyone from, uh, like, from MySpace? Like, and then met, seen them? Yeah, about two. Yeah? Yeah. What do you guys use MySpace for? Yeah. Yeah. Pick up, up chicks. Picking up, up chicks. chicks. Yeah. yeah. Most of them are hella emo though. Sometimes you get random ads with emos. Do he want to talk to you? But you just delete them. Do you use it to organise parties or get-togethers? Um, I know people that do, but not me. Do you use MySpace to organise events? Yeah, uh, organise a, a party the other week. With friends is pretty good. Usually I use the phone concept. Do you have any <laughs> famous friends? Famous friends? What do you mean? Like, do you have Snoop Dogg? No, not Snoop Dogg. I uh, just have friends, that's all. Yeah, yeah. It's about it. What do you use it for? Um, displaying pictures of mine, chatting to friends. I you know, added Borat the other day, it was pretty good. Adding people you want, looking at celebrities' MySpace and friends' MySpace, find out stuff about them. Alec, what's going on? How many friends do you have? More than you. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there a competition on friends? Um, I've heard that you and Jasper have competition. Oh, uh, you know, I'm, I think I've got like eight friends ahead of him. You know. How many friends do you have? Oh, 189. I checked it last night. You know, I'm kicking your ass. ass. I hate it. Right. <laughs> do you have my space? <laughs> no, it's fucking shit. Do you have it? No. Uh, I'm actually going to delete it pretty soon. Really? Didn't have enough friends. Yeah, it's not lack of friends, I just uh, I, I hate the about. ideologies behind my space, I think it's just a load of yeah. pretty much. Do you know every single one of your friends? Uh no actually I got a, a random person last night who I just accepted me. You get randoms on MySpace who are like, hey you're him. I know you. Oh real. Yeah, wicked. Do you see people whoring themselves out on MySpace? Oh, all the time. Skin is in MySpace or <laughs> MySpace slut. I like to call it CrySpace, actually. MySpace? I do indeed have one. Nice. Tell us about it. It's pretty plain, but uh, it's good when you're bored, you just... What are you showcasing in MySpace? Crap. Yeah? Yeah, down. I just stick a picture on there, bit of music, bit of a film thing. Whatever. Too easy. So you're so popular with the girls from MySpace? Yes! Always. Yes, I am! So you use it for a boredom killer? It's definitely a uh, aphrodisiac. 
Ah, an aphrodisiac. Yeah, an aphrodisiac. No, that's not the right word. It doesn't matter. It does something very similar. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. MySpace is currently the second highest destination after Google. By the 6th of September 2006, there were 106 million accounts, growing at a rate of 230,000 accounts per day. By the 22nd of May 2007, it had grown to 180 million accounts. MySpace clocks up 60 billion page views a month. So Tom, do you have MySpace? Not anymore, no. So you did have it? I did have it. I did have it for quite a while. How come you um, deleted it? Well, okay, yeah. It's, I found myself logging onto MySpace, and um, basically, I'd been in a pretty good mood. You know, oh yeah, go onto MySpace. And then I found that after I'd used MySpace, I was always more unhappy. Didn't know why. I was just always really pissed off. So you just go on, you'd be, you know, whatever, fine, and then you'd get on, do whatever you do, and then you'd get off, and you'd be unhappy. Basically, yes. And it was always by a certain amount, my mood would just go down. Okay, how come? Well, I figured it's about something that really bothers me about people and what they do when they use things like MySpace and MSN to an extent and things like that. What they tend to do is um, they log on and they, they create these little um, they create these little identities for themselves, these kind of perfect versions of themselves that they want to convey to the world. Um, which really bothers me because I'm all for I'm all for truth and getting to know the real person which I find that these days is being made impossible by things by my, like MySpace. Mm. Easy to talk to, like say, girls, yeah. isn't it? Like, oh, it's ridiculous. It's like, it's like walls of safety that people put around themselves. Yeah, because you're not, you, know, you don't have to be embarrassed and you only you know, say that and then there's no awkward silence. Is yeah, there? yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally. I mean, you get rid of all of the, um, the freshness and the kind of um, what, makes, what makes knowing someone a bit more real. Yeah. The, yeah, the risk of awkwardness or the risk of um, the risk of embarrassment, embarrassment or something exciting like a touch. You can't touch someone on MySpace. You could say, "Oh, I love you," and that's easy. You put lots of X's and kisses and stuff, but it, it means nothing really because it's so easy to do. Mm. So there's a creepiness aspect to it, I suppose. Um, I mean, you can read other people's uh, messages to each other, mm. their comments. Um, you've got a whole list of comments you can just browse through, and it's. It's weird. Yeah. People write the comments not really thinking that everyone else is going to see them. Mm. In summary, what do you have anything final to say about MySpace? All right, yeah. Uh, I think that MySpace itself is, is fine. It's a great idea. It's, um, it's a good social networking device. I think the problem is people use it in the wrong way, and people are always going to. Um, basically, people want to, people want to use it as a kind of a, a wall and they can hide behind, create these perfect identities for themselves. And um, I think it's not so much what it is, but how people use it. And people will always use it like that. And I suppose that's what I really hate.